Welcome back to another edition on COTV, A Voice That Matters. This time around, we have somebody interesting from the tech industry. Prashanti Kirti Singh, founder of Syntegrity Tech. In the rapidly changing landscape of technology, she has undertaken an extraordinary journey within the tech industry since 1996. It was during this year that she first experienced the potential of online domain, setting up a profound desire to make her presence felt in the IT industry. Driven by ambition and an insatiable thirst for growth. A warm welcome, Prashanti. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Shubhra. Okay. So let's start off with what is your story as an entrepreneur in tech industry and how did it all begin? Yeah, uh, to start with, soon after my college life, school life, I started working uh, as a receptionist and that is also I started in an IT company. So for me, uh, IT was something that I kind of got into, I liked it and then but i didn't have the whole idea what this it is all about but little by little i got into it and i understood it's kind of a vast industry and uh, i wanted to choose a segment where in it what i can do then uh, moving forward i was started working i started working in another company again it company which is providing uh, internet services and all that so slowly I moved into the IT industry as a sales person and then to the management uh, little by little I improved myself with uh, studies and all those things. That was my beginning and that is how I started. Yeah. Can you share the story behind Syntegrity's rapid growth in the graphics tablets market? Yes, Shobhya. So, the Syntegrity has uh, its background also because my last working place gave me a lot of uh, energy for me to uh, start my own company. So, uh, I prepared myself the background for it. I uh, started kind of giving a lot of attention and studying uh, to prepare myself to take up this uh, challenge in me. And uh, Syntegrity became Syntegrity like Synergy and Integrity put together. So I believe in that. And I thought this would be the most suitable name for this company. And then um, with all the experience that I have gathered and also my liking towards uh, what I do right now. So I thought I will uh, have my own thing. And this is how Syntegrity started. How do you differentiate Syntegrity's tablet from the competitor's market? Okay, it's uh, like this. Um, uh, most, if you, if you really take in this industry, most of the uh, IT companies are focusing on everything. Like if you take uh, the IT equipments, uh, IT solutions, software, um, and you name it like you're trying to do everything together. So I found it, or rather I'm comfortable with, very upmarket and where I can position this product to a niche market, which I thought would be more suitable for me. So that is where Syntegrity actually differentiating from other companies around. And I'm focusing on very few product lines. I don't have like everything together with me. So this is uh, kind of few products that I selected and then I'm focusing on that very much and especially when it comes to this uh, actually Syntegrity name came out in the market with this tablet we used to call it a graphic tablet I rather call it a pen tablet now because that is what the market is using now so with this Syntegrity name came in in the market uh, this was not very highlighting in the past. The graphic tablet or the pen tablet was not very highlighting in the market because people didn't know what to do with it. Other than the people who are like the designers, artists, uh, only knew what the graphic tablet is all about because it was specifically for them. But in an unfortunate situation, this became a fortunate thing where when the pandemic came up, uh, people started using this for different things. Whereas to do distance learning, lecturing um, for children who are stuck at home to do their studies. 
so everything like you know everyone used it for everything kind of like you know their job so even people started having meetings overseas in here even between like you know colleagues and all that so this graphic tablet eventually became a pen tablet and everyone started using it. can you share an instant where being a female owner and has provided a distinct advantage and open doors for collaboration and innovation yes i mean as an example me when i uh, came into this uh, it market i found it it's very challenging for a lady it's not like easy as like you think uh, there are a lot of challenges that you have to face too and but my personality is such i just don't give up on things so i thought no i will do this and then i found it like you know there are lots of opportunities if you really want to work on it and that is how i found these products also uh, suitable for me or i can bring it here to the position it in the correct markets and all that so the options are available and then if you really work on it you can do things and how you want to do it is the question there so uh, with my product lines i've uh, found it how i have to or how i should position these products in the market and i grabbed the opportunities which were available so i think uh, it's all uh, how you put things together and your ideas and how you yes what role do you believe your company plays in shaping the future of graphic tablets industry yeah actually um, more than saying a graphic tablet i would like to say it's a pen tablet because it's been used for different things today in the market so if you say graphic tablet it's kind of giving you the idea it's only for graphics it is only for the photograph uh, photographers or the like you know designers fashion designers or interior designers they are the people who used it before and it was called graphic tablet as i mentioned before so now i would rather call it a pen tablet because there are so many other uh, individuals are using it and especially now uh, this has become a tool in the banking sector where now when we go and like you know when we want to uh, do something in the bank open an account or whatever this is where you get the you get your signature it's on the counter so you can it, it's kind of a pen tablet now so you're using instead of using a mouse you're using this pen to do lot of things so into the future i know this is going to be a product all around our day to day life so it, it's going to be in all the finance institutes it's going to be in all the banks and even like you know more uh, schools will be using it as for now the most of the universities are using this for their lecturing and uh, all those things the students for their studies and all that so future is some um, seeing it's uh, quite good uh, for the pen tablet industry and that's the end of the show thank you for being with us for today thank you so much too thank you so much for being with us